ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد today's khutbah is on a topic that is right in front of our hands and that is being patient when being annoyed or being bothered or disturbed from your wife because from the moral and the mannerism of the salaf is that when they are uh agitated by their wives the salaf used to be patient and they used to reflect that the only reason that my wife is being is annoying me and disturbing me is because i have disobeyed allah tabarak wa ta'ala instantly they used to reflect on the actions that they had committed the wrong actions by disobeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is a, des- a direct result of me disobeying allah tabarak wa ta'ala ay naam so much that one of the salaf he used to say I disobeyed Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and I found its effect in the way my animal and my wives behaved to me. If he and the people who came before him and the people during his time used to always reflect the reason why my wife is acting to me this way is because of me being disobedient to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, what about us? What about us? Are we trying to do the things that is going to encourage us to obey Allah tabarak wa ta'ala that's going to allow our wife to encourage us to be obedient to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala barakallahu feek ya akhi in the back please don't sleep this is a time to be reminded not a time to sleep barakallahu feek this is something right in front of our hands to the to the degree of everybody is asking for divorce everybody want to get married and two or three days days later they ask them for a divorce that is because we're not patient when our wives start disobeying us it's just like i remember being in egypt sitting in the masjid trying to learn the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to learn something from the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all you have is flies flying on your nose and then you try to hit the fly down and then he come on your ear and then you try to get him off your ear he come on your lip then you try to hit him off from your lip he come on your hand and two you want to walk out the masjid because you are disturbed by this fly and the same thing with us when we are being bothered and annoyed by our wives we want to divorce them immediately but we don't want to reflect and say this is how much we've been disobedient to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala we don't even reflect that this fly is reminding us that the sins that we have committed and we should be ashamed of ourselves to walk outside and to be happy with one another and laugh in one another face whereas the salaf before they used to pray during the night yes pray during the night to the extent that when they walk out in the house in the morning they used to put the coal underneath their eyes why so that the people won't recognize that they've been up all night long worshiping Allah tabarak wa ta'ala trying to get the sins off their back but yet we are amongst the people who don't forsake their bed who don't really know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who don't even know the word of ilah when you ask the people what is the meaning of deity the word ilah he can he, he's not able to tell you but the word ilah means the one who shall be obeyed not disobeyed with veneration and esteem with love fear and hope relying on him yes this is the meaning if someone asks you what is the meaning of us uh, of islam you're not able to tell them but yet soon as your wife become impatient with you the only thing that is easy for you that you know because it is so easy for to escape from your tongue is right on your tongue and as soon as she say something wrong your divorce we are claiming that we always love 
And we love the Salaf and we want to follow the path of the Salaf. Yes, we say we follow Quran and Sunnah Allah Fahim Sahaba. We are always saying this on our tongue. But yet we can't be patient when our wives are uh, uh, annoying us and disturbing us. We can't be patient with that. Because uh, we can't reflect that the reason why they are annoying us and disturbing us is because of the sins that we have committed. We are being disobedient to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And Al Hassan Al Basri says, when the people leave off fasting during the day and praying during the night, no, is a result of his sins. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Men Sam, Yom Fi Sabillah, Ba'ad Allah Wajahu Sabaina Anin Na Sabain Kharifa. O Kama Kala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever fasts the day, one day in the sight of Allah, or for the face of Allah, for the sake of Allah, then Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala will make his face far away from the hellfire 70 years. And in another hadith, it says that the distance between the heavens and the earth, we forget about fasting and we love sinning. And when our wives start disobeying us and annoying us, we don't think about the sins that we are committing. Whereas the Salaf used to think about their animals and their wives disobeying them because they have disobeyed Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Aina nahnu min hawlai. Where are we from them? I tell you one thing. We are far from them. Aina nahnu min hawlai. The people who say we love, just like backbiting, destroys the brotherhood. Divorcing your wife because it's easy on your tongue to destroy the brotherhood. So much that a brother, five or six brothers in the same masjid know exactly what that woman look like. How she walk. How she is pleased. When she act like when she's angry and yet we are satisfied and we love to be in this state because we love to pronounce that divorce instead of reflecting on the situation like the self reflected when their wives disturb them and annoy them, it's because of the result of their sins. Ain't it nahnu min hawlay that we say that we really love? Where are we from them? We are far from them. And we don't even want to come a step closer to them because we love for our wives to annoy us and disturb us, but yet we don't reflect on the sins that we commit. How come we don't encourage our wives to fast and she encourage us to fast? So that she can wake us up and pray to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala to get some of these sins off our back. Because we should reflect and think that those sins that is on our back is like a mountain falling down. It's like someone about to take our sight. Because if you go to the doctor and they say, if you don't do such and such, you're going to lose your sight. We do everything possible, everything possible to retain our sight. But whereas... Our wives that we, uh, we want to divorce, ask for a divorce, or annoy us, we so happy to announce that divorce on her. But we're not like that before we get married. We try to be patient. We try to get all of the money that we need. We try to do all of the necessary things so we can marry that woman. But the next day, you divorce. Having Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala become patient with you, just like you smacking a fly off your nose and your ear and your lip. Having Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala have been patient with you from you disobeying Him because the meaning of deity is the one who is obeyed and not disobeyed with veneration and esteem, love, fear, and hope, relying on Him. Haven't He been patient with us? Haven't He given us the opportunity to repent to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala when He said, Anibu ila rabbikum wa aslimu. I command all of you to repent to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala to return back to Him, to the obedience of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Yes, and to submit to Him. Where are we? Aina nahnu min ha'ulai. Don't we encourage our wives to fast? Don't she encourage us to fast? So that we can become close and we can become patient when she is annoying us. 